pretty much every photographer at some point in their career thought, maybe I could turn my photography hobby into a actual career. I definitely thought about it and that's what I'm working towards currently. But in this video, we'll be talking about whether or not you should turn photography as a hobby into a career or whether you should stick with it just as a hobby. So let's jump right into that in this video. What's up guys, the Project Photography, back to the video and today people, today. So for me, I am actually currently working on becoming a full-time photographer in my career. I joined Max Preps, make a pretty good amount of money off of it and I'm pretty happy with that process overall. And a lot of you guys have probably thought the same. Maybe I could turn this hobby that I love, like photography, into a career. And this is a question that I think a lot of photographers need to ask because I know there is a lot of folks out there that probably could do it as a career, but should you is the question. That is the central question I'll be posing to you in this video and I'll be answering at the end of this video. So stick around for that. But running photography as a business is pretty fun. I mean, you have a lot of freedom. You can pretty much do what you want. You get paid to go on photo shoots. You can travel more. You can buy more expensive gear and all those other things. But there's a lot of downsides to it. And there is also a few upsides of just keeping photography as a hobby. So first of all, let's talk about photography as a career. Let's talk about the pros really quick. First of all, like I said, it's very fun and exciting. I mean, who gets to go out and do photography and just shoot photos for a living? There's not many people that are able to do that. And if you can, it's pretty fun, not gonna lie. And while you're having fun doing this, you also have a lot of freedom. You can create your own schedule. You can choose who and when to go and photograph. You can choose what niche of photography you wanna do, like landscape photography, sports photography, wedding, and all those kind of things. It's just a lot of diversity in terms of what you can do as a photographer. You can definitely travel more. Like, let's just say you're a landscape photographer, right? You can literally go out to Big Bear or pretty much any other spot that you want to go and photograph and get paid to do it. You can write off those expenses on your taxes. You can go out there and pay to do the shooting. Like you can sell your prints or work for a travel agency or something like that. Pretty much you get to travel more and get paid for it. That's pretty fun for a lot of people. And if you're a true working photographer, you can justify getting that nice piece of gear. You can justify that expensive 70 to 200, that 24 to 70, that 14 to 24, that 400 millimeter 2.8. You can justify all those things by saying, you know what, this is for my uh, photography business. You know, this is part of what I got to do. You know, I don't want to let my gear hold me back. And you can really justify it because you know, you're know you going to get paid for this at the end of the day. Now, even though there are some pretty cool pros about running your photography as a business and turning it into a career, there's also a few downsides. One of them off the top of my head I can think about is that photography turns less into a hobby and more into a job. So overall it might be less fun you might start to see that line between it being a hobby and it being an actual career very blurry um, it's hard to really differentiate you know what is work and what isn't what is just for fun and on top of that it can be very stressful to get new clientele I mean, getting new clientele is absolutely crucial if you're running a photography business. And sometimes a lot of us photographers really don't want to deal with that side of photography, the business aspect of it. Sometimes we just want to go out and photograph and don't have to worry about, you know, when am I getting my next paycheck to put food on the table? And kind of in relation to that last point, the pay can be very uncertain. I mean, you don't know when your next paycheck is going to be. You don't know when the next time a client is going to call up and say, hey, I need the shoot done for me. When can you come over and so on? It's going to be hard to get those consistent paychecks that a lot of us are so used to and be dependent on. It's not your traditional nine to five. This is something where you got to go out and hustle every single day. It's not an easy business. And everyone thinks, you know, photography is like, oh, you just go out and shoot photos. But there is a whole other level to being a photographer and they're just going out and shooting. There's a business side. There's a networking side. There's the financial side of running a business. There's a whole slew of aspects of it that really are not super easy to manage. And especially as photographers, we're not taught this. We're just taught how to take great photos, not necessarily the business side. And even though you can take great photos, if you can't sell your work, you're gonna have a really hard time actually making some money. And on top of the pay being very uncertain, we don't get normal job benefits that like you do at a normal nine to five job. We don't get healthcare, we don't get dental, we don't get a lot of these other benefits that normal jobs would get. These are things that we have to go out and get ourselves. Health insurance is something we have to get ourselves. Uh, our own car and vehicle we have to get ourselves. All these things add up to the cost of running a business. And these are things that you would normally take for granted if you're working for a normal nine to five. And on top of it, you pretty much have to work year round if you wanna make ends meet. Photographers don't really get paid that much. So on top of not getting paid much, you don't really get as much time off to go out and actually, you know, just lounge around and hang out and do what you wanna do. So. On top of the pay being very uncertain, you have to work year round, don't get benefits, and pretty much a lot of other things that a normal nine to five job would secure for you. 
So let's talk about photography as a hobby. You know, a lot of people I think should be in this category. I don't think running a business as a photographer is for everybody, but the pros is running a photography just for your hobby. Um, first of all, it's stressless. You don't have to worry about getting paid. You just go out and shoot whenever you want to. You can shoot wherever, whoever, whenever you want to. You don't have this constriction that you have to make money. So you have a lot of liberty to actually go ahead and just do what you want. If you want to go shoot a sports game one day, that's awesome. If you want to go shoot a landscape the next day, that's great. You can do that. You have the freedom to do so. So, And on top of it, you can just have fun doing it. That line between work and a hobby really isn't that uh, unclear is very defined. I mean, you have work as your own separate thing and you have photography as the other. So you don't really have to worry about blurring that line. If you do photography as a hobby, you can just work a nine to five like a normal person, get all the benefits and all that, that security, it's pretty nice. Um, but it just depends on the person really. And on top of it, the last pro of doing photography as a hobby is that you just do it because you want to, not because you necessarily have to. If you do photography as a job, you kind of have to do it whether you want to or not. It's just, that's just part of your job and that's just part of what you sign up for when becoming a actual photography as a career. So although there are some pros to doing photography as a hobby, there are also a few cons. One of them is that you still have to go out and find a real job. So this might not be something you particularly enjoy. This might be a nine to five that you know, have to go to work in every day and leave home at the same time and all those kind of things. So you really have to focus on that side of your career as well. Um, the cost to go out and shoot can be quite expensive. Like for example, if you're running your own business as a landscape photographer, if you go up to, let's just say um, Yosemite for the weekend, you know, all those expenses are pretty much tax deductible. But if you work a nine to five, that's not tax deductible at all. So that's money that's already being taxed and will cost more at the end of the day for you to actually go out and shoot. And because it is a hobby, you know, doing photo shoots are just going to be more expensive. That's just how it's going to be. Um, that's kind of what you sign up for when doing photography as a hobby. So when it comes to choosing photography as a job or as a hobby, I wrote a little bit of a checklist for you guys. If you fit into these categories, you should probably do one over the other. So those who should do photography as a job, if you want to do photography as a job, you have to be really passionate about it because not only is it really difficult to be a photographer, but running your own business is really hard. You have to learn that other aspect of it. And for you to really, you know, jump into that and run your own business, you have to be able to be susceptible to trial and error, that grit, that hardships that a lot of business owners have to feel. So the only way to really push through all that and persevere is to be really passionate about it. If you really love photography, you really just want to do it as a job and a living, I mean, you just you just have to be really passionate about it if you really wanna get far when it comes to that. The second part of those who should do photography as a job is that if you find purpose in photography, like you find your sole purpose doing photography, like when you go out there, you feel like there's a defined mission when you go out there and doing what you love to do. You really have to have a purpose when you're out there. You can't just, you know, just lollygag around and just like shoot for the hell of it. Like when you're doing your photography as a business, you really need to be dialed in, laser focused on what you wanna do and have a good sense of purpose. And the last aspect is that you can define that line between work and fun. When you're doing photography as a job, you know, that line is very, very narrow. It's very thin. And your job as a photographer um, is to be able to define that line. And if you can, it's going to be really hard to separate the two. You're not going to really enjoy photography as much. And your experience as a photographer will drop down if you can't define that line. So it's really important that as a photographer working as a career in photography, that you have to be able to define the line between, you know, this is work and this is fun. And, you know, I don't want to be able to, I don't want to go out and do a landscape photo just for the hell of it because I want to and make it feel like work. That's, that's really what you don't want to do. You don't want to make it feel like your fun experiences feel like work. At that point, then it's really not something that you probably should be doing as a career anymore. Cause it's just, then the fun of photography just gets taken away. And at the end of it, I mean, that's what really what we do photography for. So there's that second category of people who should probably just do photography as a hobby. And this is like 95% of people because doing photography as a job is very hard and it's very grueling. It's very inconsistent. And a lot of people don't like that inconsistency. So 95% of you should just stick to it as a hobby. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. If you don't want to feel stressed out about doing photography to make money, just stick with it as a hobby. You don't have that stress. You have to worry about making money and all those sorts of things. You can just enjoy photography for what it is. And you know, if you just want to enjoy photography just for the hell of it, I mean, just stick with it as a hobby. There's no reason to put that stress on you, that burden of making money. Just stick with it as a hobby, enjoy it and have fun with it. So 
As I said, guys, you don't really have to do photography as a job. Just because it is pretty enticing does not mean that everybody should do it. It's definitely not an easy industry to get into. And I would argue it's one of the harder ones to get into because not only is the pay relatively low, but you know, it's a pretty high, it's a pretty low ceiling when it comes to actually making money in photography and also a very low floor. I mean, there's also very much inconsistencies, but if you really love it, you're really passionate about it, I mean, go for it. But majority of people should just stay as hobbyists and that's okay. You have to find something that you love to do. And if you wanna just do it for fun, there's no problem with that. So anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about in this video. Uh, let me know if you're a hobbyist or you wanna do it as a career down in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.